friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dolores and I'm so stinking happy that you're here today. If you guys have not already, make sure you click that red subscribe button and make sure you also click that little notification bell so that way you are notified every single time that I post here over on YouTube. But without further ado, in case you haven't read the title, today we are talking about all things my second trimester. So let's go ahead and get started. So I want to talk to you guys today about my second trimester and all of that entails. Sorry, I was looking over to see if I can see my dog. Um, but yeah, so for me and just like every single other person that is pregnant, second trimester starts from 16 weeks and it goes all the way into 27 weeks. So it literally is like, it feels like one of the longest trimesters. Then you have like of the third trimester, which is 28 weeks until 40 weeks. So I mean, it's like equally just as long as at least it feels that way. So yes so one of the first things i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about a couple of like not so great things and a couple of great things and then like what in the video i don't want to make it too long today but one of the very first things that started happening to me that like honestly weren't so great i'm pretty sure it was like a week 17 or 18 was i started having like major nosebleeds like what the freaking heck so i am 26 years old for those who don't know and i never in my entire life ever have had a nosebleed so i was like what is going on so yeah so like what the heck my nose was bleeding and i was like never experienced this before this is really weird so i actually at first i was chocolate in my bed so i had to like quickly figure that out i called my doctors and they're like yeah i try to put some vas vaseline up your nose try to make sure you're like you know have a humidifier or whatever um and make sure that the room that you're in is not super super dry it should help so my doctors were like totally normal just try to use some sort of vaseline or something like in your nose well they told me to use vaseline in my nose to make sure my nose wasn't so dry and i was like okay i did that and i had my um essential oil diffuser going honestly with like just water in it sometimes i had the lavender essential oil but to each their own and it really helped me and i actually try to do that every other night now and i have not seen any nosebleeds um so that's the thing oh totally forgot to mention that I am 32 weeks right now. I believe that when you guys see this video, I'll probably be close to 33 weeks, if not like already in the middle of 33 weeks when I post this, but yeah. So anyways, but so that was like the first weird thing that happened was me getting nosebleeds, super weird. I do have a list here of things I wanna share about, so that's why I'll be looking at my phone. So basically nothing new was going on for that amount of time. Then the next thing, the next big thing that happens um, in your second trimester is your um, anatomy scan so I uh, it is a 21 week anatomy scan it's basically like a really in-depth ultrasound where your doctors and you obviously or the ultrasound text whatever you guys you go in for an appointment and they basically just see all things have to do with the baby so they check the heart you get to see the four chambers of the heart which is pretty neat um, they check for like I want to say like the liver like lungs like they check absolutely everything with your baby in an ultrasound to make sure like everything is like kosher and good to go which everything for our daughter was and i was like super excited also you find out the gender if you didn't know already so we are actually already knew because we got the blood work done and then we actually got like an early ultrasound done um so we did know but we're having a girl so if you didn't know then yay we're having a girl you guys can also watch the video um, I'll post it down in the description box below um, of our gender reveal that we revealed with our family and some friends. So you have this anatomy scan and it's pretty neat. And I honestly was like so like nervous because Amos, my husband, ended up being pretty sick that day. And I was like, oh gosh, like I'm going to go because I have to go. I want to see like you feel like you wait for this moment like your entire pregnancy. So it just feels like you're constantly waiting for this anatomy scan. So um, him and not him, myself and my sister-in-law, um, his older sister, um, were able to go to this and it was awesome. We were actually able to FaceTime Amos in, which made it even better. Um, so he still was able to see things and hear things. And it was just so funny. One small funny moment was like, they put the gel on my stomach and they put the little like knob thing they put the gel sorry my dog was shaking they put the gel in my stomach and then they take the little like monitor thing they put on your stomach as well i wish i knew the word sorry it is what it is um and i she's sitting there like kind of like spread leg and i was like 
oh my gosh, I was like, look at that vagina. <laughs> so it was actually really funny. I have been this entire time like, oh God, it's a boy, it's a girl, it's a boy, it's a girl. Or, you know, I just feel like I've been like so clueless, even though we know, I feel like I've still been like, ah. So that happened. Um, there was one point that was a little bit scary actually. And um, they found like a echo, echo geniac something. Basically, well, I can't remember the name of it. If I remember the name, I'll put it here, but if not, then sorry. Um, but it was really scary for me because I deal with anxiety and so anything negative in the sense when it comes to pregnancy has been like it's been like over the top for me um so anyways they found this like white little like dot on one of the four chambers of the heart and so they have to tell you but because of her blood work and the rest of her scans and everything else in that specific anatomy scan came back like with fine colors like good they were like there's no need of concern like her heart rate is still really great like there should be no need for concern so unless like something comes up like when i'm giving birth like all's kosher but still they have to tell you and anytime you hear anything negatively associated to your pregnancy like you do freak out and if you're not pregnant and you're planning on being pregnant just know that it's okay it's totally normal to freak out because this is your baby and for me this is my first child so I like feel like anything that's not good I'm like oh it's the end of the world so really grateful that everything ended up being great we prayed and we had some friends and family praying with us as well but really glad that everything is okay so moving on to some things so more about like my body and myself like how I was doing so for those who didn't know for my first trimester I may have mentioned it in the first trimester video but I definitely have mentioned it in general on this channel but I've been dealing with a lot of depression and sadness technically it is called I think antenatal or prenatal depression which is just depression during pregnancy but I have had no idea about it I had only heard of postpartum depression so I was like preparing my entire this entire time for that and so um, it's been a little harder but I because I, I was expecting to be after not during pregnancy so grateful for my doctor and my team and just like the people in my life that love me and support me and have been here for me through this entire um, pregnancy but all that to say my sadness has just been continuing so there's that on a higher note though I had a ton of energy second trimester like I literally would wake up and be like oh let's have breakfast and I was like ready to go look on top of the world like, I'm pretty sure like for like at least a couple weeks straight I like woke up and like was making breakfast for myself and for Amos and the dog and like, I was just like ready to go for the day at like 6 a.m like 6 30 like I was barely sleeping but mind you I had like all this freaking energy and I'm like what is going on so that was pretty intense and that was also like pretty great to have like that much energy because right now in my third trimester I do not have that kind of energy even if it seems like I do right now in the video I just like got myself ready for this video to have energy <laughs> so anyways tons of energy at the same time however I really wasn't I was starting to not feel like myself my face wasn't getting super full but I felt like my clothes like my clothes were starting to not fit like my jeans I no longer could do the hair tie trick like at 20 21 weeks it was like not happening hair tie trick no not going on anymore if you guys don't know what the hair tie trick is I'll try to post a picture of someone like with the hair it's basically when you take the button of your pants and you just put a hair tie around it to like extend your pants um but that just like legitimately wasn't working for me so to reach their own um and yeah so I really wasn't fit feeling like myself my t-shirts and all that stuff as well a fit my pants technically fit they just don't zip up they can't button so whatever I feel um, like this is like the biggest thing that happens during second trimester and it is the glucose test truly it is like an eight ounce I believe like an eight ounce or nine ounce like basically sugar drink it is literally just like glucose so it's like an entire bottle of like it's like literally like this big I'm like doing this like Vanna White um but it's literally like this big and you have to drink it within I think three to four minutes or three to five minutes I'm it may be three minutes like it there's not a lot of time you to drink it and then you have to wait for an hour and then you immediately have to go and get blood work done and then they do the blood work and then they let you know within the next couple days or the next day or the next hour or whatever hey fine colors you passed or ooh, you didn't pass you need to come in you have to take a longer version of this test good luck um so i woke up that morning you're not supposed to have like any kind of sugary breakfast so I had my breakfast my non-sugary breakfast and then I had a doctor's appointment that morning and then that like after that appointment like an hour later I had blood work scheduled so I was like perfect I'll just like take the glucose test with me after one appointment's over I'll go back to my car drink it and then I'll just wait an hour so I did I read a book the entire time and yeah so I got the clear flavor it is basically like a flat sprite um I don't know depending on where you guys live you may or may not have the the same options that I did but had like a red like cherry flavor an orange flavor and then like the clear which is like the sprite flavor so those are my three options um I chose the sprite because the nurse told me it was like the least daunting and I was like 
you're the real deal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it honestly did taste like a super, super ultra mega flat Sprite that like maybe had like two more out, two ounces more of sugar in it. It was not the worst thing, but I gagged halfway through and I'm almost positive be it's because they make you have to drink it so quickly and it is a thicker drink. So, um, have you guys ever, if you guys have ever, I almost asked you guys, like you can talk back to me. Let me know in the comments actually, if you've ever heard of thick water, I think that's the name of it. Um, I've never had it, but like I've watched it and it kind of seems like a less thick version of thick water in like, um, like in taste, in like, um, like in the form that it is. It's not a super thin liquid. But anyways, made it through that. I did pass with fine colors, so yay, me. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, and so no gestational diabetes at that point in time. Hopefully I don't have it now. I'm trying to do my best to eat better, but like, you know no gestational diabetes so like that was absolutely amazing that was probably at like 20 i want to say at like 25 or 24 weeks probably i got this test done i think it may have been like 24 or 25 weeks actually 25 weeks i think i got it done because we were going on to our we were going to our baby moon so i wanted to make sure i had that done before we went on our baby moon so leading into that we went on our baby moon at 26 weeks and then we came back when i was 27 weeks so just like a quick weekend trip but you guys it was absolutely worth it if you don't know what a baby moon is all a baby moon is is basically like a vacation you take before baby comes but they coined it the cute little term baby moon like you would a honeymoon but for everyone who's not as extra as me it is just a vacation you take before the baby comes we went to florida um southwest florida and it was absolutely beautiful we flew which a lot of people were like dolores you can't fly like oh my god you're pregnant but you can you can fly up to 35 weeks pregnant um as long as it is approved by your doctor so if you are planning on taking a trip during your pregnancy make sure you get all flights and everything approved by your doctor but i was in the clear and so that was really amazing we were able to go and it was like the best time um we've had a while we haven't been on a vacation just the two of us in a really long time we normally go with other people or we just like whatever we don't go because we just like to like save money and it's really hard for me personally to plan trips i get a lot of anxiety and nervousness about it but we did it so some foods that i started craving i guess you can say i'm not the biggest fan of chocolate but home girl baby girl must love it because every time chocolate like touches my mouth she's like squirmy wormy and i'm like hello so chocolate became something i feel like i needed to have i was like i like I wanted and that's been like since like the beginning of pregnancy but like I feel like it just intensified during second trimester and here we are now in third you know but I'm literally like oh I want like a caramel latte decaf whatever and then I'm like oh wait scratch that can you actually make it mocha and that happens like all the freaking time every single time I eat chocolate it is like game over that's the chocolate situation it is like not calm down also all things dairy again for those who didn't know before i was pregnant i was gluten-free dairy free and um oh my gosh i want to say like sugar-free but i wasn't completely sugar-free so i was at least gluten-free and dairy-free and i can't remember the other free but just know that i was not eating the things i'm eating now being pregnant and like i feel like it shows like my face is just way more full probably all the dairy and honestly the low-key complete junk i've been eating but i also been trying to be as healthy as possible so there's that there are two not so great things i think it was at 20 two weeks i'm in the bathroom and my arm is wet and i'm like oh my gosh this is so weird and i was like oh, it's my boobs <laughs> so um my boobs started leaking at 22 weeks great time not a crazy amount for those who want to know but enough that like i've like left the got out of the bathroom and went to amos my husband and i was like oh, I'm not ready for this and he's like welcome to pregnancy and I was like yeah that's been a fun situation that's been happening sorry for any men watching my video if that's too TMI I will do my best to remember hopefully you'll see it now that there is a TMI like warning in the caption so if you're watching and you heard me say boobs that's on you also a more TMI situational thing so again if you're someone who doesn't want to hear about TMI things this is your time to go um hemorrhoids so i went to the bathroom one night and or one morning at three four whatever time it was one night i don't know and i like went to go wipe and i saw blood and i was like oh, no i was like what's going on like is she okay like so i started panicking i'm like amos i'm bleeding and bleeding he's like from where i'm like i don't know and he's like what do you mean i was like i don't know so like then i was like oh my god i don't know <laughs> so i had to figure out what area i was bleeding from and it was my butt so that was a great time um and apparently that's extremely normal at that point i think it was like 22 23 weeks so that was that apparently that's normal 
what a great time um, that has been happening here and there it's not very consistent but um, I'm 99% sure it's because one there's a baby inside of me and two because of the weight gain that I have had I've never been this heavy in my entire life and so I think my body is just trying to compensate so just so you know my doctors told me it was completely normal my nurse um, actually when I went to the, my doctor's appointment a little bit after that she said oh yeah it's hemorrhoid time kind of like it's hammer time like oh 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 it's you know like like mc hammer like she made it kind of like a joke and i was like okay <laughs> my butthole falling out is a joke to you okay. so yes so that was the beauty for me of second trimester i think i covered everything let's see here nosebleeds anatomy scan some sadness also having energy clothes not fitting some cravings boobs but in baby moon, <laughs> I think I've covered it all. Again, I know I talked about it earlier, but recommend planning a trip no matter if you guys go to a tropical beach place or if you just take a weekend trip in your city somewhere just away from life go do it so that is all i have for you today for my second trimester of pregnant um it has been a roller coaster ride i cannot believe i'm already 32 weeks pregnant and that we are here we are already in the third trimester so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and again make sure you hit that notification button so you are alerted every single time i post but seriously guys i have no longer i do still have my personal instagram and facebook pages but i'm no longer Longer using them to post so this this area this platform will be where I primarily am posting so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up to date with what's going on in my life and also if you do like to read you can follow me on Goodreads and you guys can follow me over on Instagram um, on my book account which is books coffee nooks um, and you guys can find me there as well but without can continue on and make another 12 minute video i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in today and look forward to seeing a third trimester recap video coming up and then hopefully praying 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 before june right praying that before june baby girl will come so keep me in your prayers as well as our daughter and our family but we love you guys and take care and we'll catch you next week